Oh boy, 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 oh buddy, oh I got half a stock now. Mmm, yeah. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, shit. Oh boy, god damn it. Alright, this is getting silly now. There we go. Hey everybody, this is Pig Rigged, and if something's worth doing, it's worth doing with no pants on. We're playing Mario 64, or at least I am. I don't know what the hell you're doing. I don't know you, and I'm not going to pretend to. Tall Tall Mountain, more specifically. While I never did much of, well, anything past the first floor as a kid, I kind of sucked at video games. Nothing's changed. Holy shit, I'm still a big man child. All right, we're back. As I was saying, I never did much of this as a kid or anything past the basement, really. But I do have really fond memories of this particular area. Like, I, I remember it as being a pretty cool place, and I'm kind of getting that vibe from it right now, where it's like, you know, it's big old hell of mushrooms and shit. For one thing, it feels like old Mario Brothers, like old, old, old. Not old Mario Brothers, per se, but Super Mario. I can't swim with fucked up cameras. I'm sorry, guys. That's just how it is. That's just the way I am, and if I can't see what the fuck I'm doing, I'm not going to go the right way. I can't spin my camera around behind me. This game, for as revolutionary as it was, he's got some big old fucking camera problems. Oh, shit. This just took me right back down to where I was. And that's going to wash me out to fucking see. Um... Probably just gonna jump cut past me fucking up here and getting back down back up the mountain. Here we go, I was going the wrong direction the whole time. Alright. Ooh fucking logs. Oh shit, no no. Oh why? Oh why is there a fly guy involved? Oh Jesus. Oh shit. Oh I can't get my pace up. I'm fucking scared. Fucking panicking. Oh god damn it. Ah, uh, thanks, fly guy. Thanks a bunch, you big asshole. Not like I needed your help fucking that up, Jesus. Look, I, I panic sometimes. I want to say it's one of them humorous overreaction kind of things, like, oh, YouTubers, uh, whenever a Let's Player gets hit, he says, ow, a bunch, like he got really hurt. But no, I, I seriously do fucking panic on them goddamn logs. What the fuck was I saying earlier? Games is hard, and sometimes I forget that. Um, I really like Tiles on my own. Like, I like... Alright. Like a boss. Be the fuck impressed. Damn right. Heal me upon your death. Twisted soul. What was I saying? I really like Tiles on my own. I really like its aesthetic. It feels... Like old Mario, but at the same time, not entirely like old Mario. Like it feels like I'm gonna shit myself. Oh shit! There we go. All right. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and rate it. All right. Gonna blow my cap off. Which ain't no big thing. I've had shits that do that. But no, it's 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 a neat level. Like it feels really neat. It's got a cool. Are we are we serious? Well, I'm not dead yet per se. I don't think I've got to climb my cameras. Can I can I get back on the mountain? Can I get back on the horse from here? I think maybe. I don't know where the fuck I am. Let's be perfectly honest. For such a linear little level, it's real easy to just get myself totally fucking lost. Hey, a star. How do I get to? I probably gotta get up there and then back, back around. Probably not just gonna let me. Oh, oh hey, that guy's the guy that blows my head off. I'm not gonna dick around with that guy. Hey, guys. This ain't like traps or nothing, is it? Yeah, probably. You know what? Fuck you, Switch. I don't give a shit. I ain't gonna play this game. 
I'm close to getting up the mountain and that kind of scares me a little bit because how bad I fucked up. The point I've been trying to make this whole this whole damn video is that Tall Tall Mountain's a very pretty place. I like its design. I like the, the cut of its jib. It feels neat. Like it feels like Mario I think is supposed to feel or traditionally is supposed to feel in the Super Mario Brothers NES type of game. I mean, what Mario is supposed to be has changed a lot over time. Let's try a different level. Maybe one that'll scorch my butthole a little bit less. Talk to me, you mushroom bastard, you elitist prick. There we go. No star. Worthless. But I know what, what, what Mario is supposed to be has changed dramatically over time. However... You're not real. Wait, this is the room with the mirror. For those of you that have never seen this yet, nothing on the wall. But if you look in the mirror, there's a picture on the wall. Ain't that fucking neat? What Mario was supposed to be has changed dramatically over time. In Mario Brothers original, it was like a weird Alice in Wonderland type of game with a lot of bricks. In Mario Brothers 2, he was a game called Doki Doki Panic. In Mario Brothers 3, it was like the whole game was one big play and everything was hanging on strings and everybody was merely actors on a stage. I forgot you were a creature. Super Mario World, we got into this weird dinosaur thing. And since then, what Mario encompasses is sort of, like, come to evolve into all of it. But Tall Tall Mountain... What am I even fucking doing? It's no man's big head. Tall Tall Mountain kind of felt like... I'm going to wander around aimlessly for half an hour. It kind of felt like how Mario used to be, like the original Super Mario Brothers concept of mushrooms and, well, mushrooms. Shit tons of mushrooms and a lot of brown. There we go. This is, this is what I was looking for. For as much fun as I had on... Jesus. For as much, uh, as much, oh shit, ice, come on now, or slopes, rather. For as much grief as I had from the other ice level, this ice level is a lot more all over the fucking place. The other one was fairly linear, or at least it pretended to be and did a pretty good job of it. This shit's, you gotta kinda look around for where the fuck you're going on this one. I think I vaguely remember how to do this. I think I can get pretty far without. See if maybe I don't fuck this up. That would be a refreshing change of pace, to be quite frank. It's not quite what I was going for. No, damn it. I can't see. I think I'm in the penguin. And there we go. The little asshole backed up. The goal, for those of you that was wondering... I don't know where the fuck my hat went. The goal, for those of you that was curious, was to get on top of the penguin, not inside the penguin. So that whenever he backed up, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. I'd be on top of him. But instead, when he backed up, I got launched into fucking space. The, the snowman blows you across the fucking map, and he still it blows your hat off, and my hat is on a snowman somewhere. I don't really want to bother looking for it right now. I'll find it later. It's kind of a big deal, because while I've got no hat, I take more damage. And I don't look nearly as snazzy. Which might be why... Jesus. Might be why I take more damage. Maybe Mario's health is... His, his infinite stamina is key to his charisma. I'm just fucking this all kinds of up. Jesus. Alright. Be sure and ride him all the way to the goddamn end. Because if you don't... Like if you get up even just a little bit early... Snowman will still blow you the fuck off. 
See, the penguin does all these false positive fucking jigs that make you think he's getting off. I think we're good. I think we're safe. Yep. Alright. Now I just have to not fuck up basic platforming. A feat that I've actually been known to accomplish, so whoop. And there we go. Well, as I was saying, I I like the other snowman level. I know, right? I like the other snowman level a lot more than I like this snowman level. This one's fun, it is. But it's not penguin racing fun. Somewhere around here is a particularly sexy looking snowman, and I'm determined to goddamn find him and desexify him. Not you. Hmm. I'm not real sure of my hat. Oh, well, fuck it. Let's do this, buddy. Or I'll get blown across the fucking map by bullshit. This game really enjoys making you slide. I, on the other hand, do not really enjoy getting slid all that much. Oh, shit. This is much harder with fucking ice. This is probably not all that entertaining to watch. It's just me fucking kicking the bullet around for 10 fucking minutes. There we go. Beat him with half health and no hat. Be the fucking brass. I didn't fall off once. Thanks to uh, zero, zero Up, I think that's pronounced. For teaching me his little bullet fighting technique, that helps a fuck to and I've come a long way since getting my ass beaten in Lethal Lava Land. I can probably squeeze in one more before I call it a day. There's been some hard shit. The, for as much as I enjoy the, the upper tiers of the castle, it don't get much easier. It's just more enjoyable to me personally anyway. Your opinion may vary, of course. I'm sure there's some people out there that are like, I fucking love Lethal Lava Land. Oh my god, that desert is the shit. I can't get enough of that hazy maze cave. Submarine level? Oh, oh, I get half a can of Pringles in my pants every time I fucking look at it. But me personally, I, I, I prefer the... Hmm. I prefer the sanctity of the upstairs levels. This is probably going to be high on my list of videos, so I ain't very interesting. Hey, hey, there's my hat. It's on top of the damn deep freeze. I thought a snowman was supposed to fucking pick it up if I dicked around long enough, but... My, my cameraman appears to be stuck in the maze. First my hat, then my cameraman. Jesus, it's consuming everything that I know and love. There's my hat, there we go. I gotta figure out how to get this star out from the fuck from here. And done, that was easy enough. Shit could have been a lot more complicated and I appreciate that it wasn't. That's gonna be it for now. That's Pig Rigged everybody. You have a good night.